Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Creeper World 4. That is right, we are back heading in the colony section yet again for the next cursor dash number series. Uh, this would be another test. Uh, this time I'm testing whether disabling waves would still create a decent group. So waves will be disabled, which kind of interesting, kind of interesting. Definitely a unique experience. A uh, different creeper flow type, I've decided to try a, slight, uh, a style slightly closer to the Creeper 3 level, or Creeper World 3 cursor levels. Uh, let's see how I did. Uh, all breeder is always active, so we have always active breeders. Uh, the breeder terrain cap is five times the power. It won't create more if the cap is reached. Uh, try to evacuate from your starting place. It won't be safe from long. Oh no, there's only one objective this time. Overcome all challenges and purify this world. It's the divine intervention of the cursor gods. Good luck and have fun and purify the world. That is right. So here we go. And it's like a, a nice little puzzly map. I, I do like the puzzle ones. It's uh, definitely one that we do want to sort of uh, see what's going on, see what we can do. Uh, we can even do some little checks right now. Like We can see that as a 20 reader. Those are tens, as we can see. Uh, that is a 15 over there. So we do have breeders of varying levels all over the map. Now, uh, that's only a 1, so I guess that's where we're going first. 1 versus a 20, I think we're going up, uh, of course. Uh, and then there's a lot of little ones over here. I guess these are all 4s? Yeah, those are all 4s. So that's going to be a 4 zone. And then, oh, uh, those are 4s too. Okay. Oh, that's a 6. Ooh, my, oh my. So a couple 4s, a couple, ooh, 3. Okay, so these are actually varied power levels. Interesting, interesting. Those are ones, those are twos. Okay, so we got just varied power levels. Not too bad, not too bad. Let's just get it going. Uh, let us turn on our lovely, lovely map indicator for the cursorness. And yeah, let's uh, let's just have some fun. Uh, let's shrink them options. So again, uh, we are gonna be going up first. Um, we're gonna be going. We're gonna we're gonna change our viewpoint every so often. Uh, well, because we can. Now, that being said, while I did say I'm going up, I am just sort of spreading my creep around because, you know, you get a little bit more power when your creep is sort of taken over the map. So just do a little spread and then we'll move our butt up. We want to take as much as possible. There really isn't too much going on. Then we do have... Oh, I guess I'm so used to getting to places within 30 seconds that I'm like, oh man, we got to get there within 30 seconds. But we don't. But everything is just always on. Everything is just always on. So it doesn't matter. 30 seconds does not matter. It's just everything is always on. So let's just move our butt up there because, yeah, it's just on. It's, 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 it's just this. There's no, there's no rush, I suppose. There's, or no, like, oh man, we got to get there within 15 seconds. <laughs> so close. No, it's just, it's, it's just, we'll just take it over and we'll, we'll get there slowly but steadily. Um, I don't have too much of a plan other than it did say evacuate the starting area, which I am going to be doing, of course. Uh, as you can see, I have essentially evacuated already. Now, that being said, it doesn't mean I'm going to completely give up on the starting area. I'm going to gonna hold on to it as long as I can, but I'm not going to you know, waste too much time. Uh, there we go. We're getting more powerful as time goes on already, which is very, very nice for us. Beautiful, beautiful, and uh, ooh, I kind of want to come from this side. This looks pretty good, pretty good. Take a corner, mayhaps. Take a corner. Always good to take your corners. Ah, uh, the corner spot. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. I mean, we'll take the center eventually. I'm not really worried about that center spot. If we can grab the corners, I think the map is kind of going to give it up to us. I think we can also take the two corners. Again, since these are always on, they're also always on for... AC. So sort of once we take it, like, it's safe. It's not like we have to be like, oh man, I hope we can hold it for that 30 seconds. It's going to be much more along the lines of, okay, we took it. Yay! Victory! And I'm now going to start coming from this direction, right? Cut it in half. That sounds pretty good to me. And go straight for that mountain, right? Just cut it, cut this world in half. Yeah, yeah, mountain. It. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. And now that mountain is on and working for us. Beautiful stuff. Um, again, we'll just take the rest of the corners and see what we're doing from here. Now we got to replan, right? We're going to plan out our stratagem once we take this little zone. And maybe, well, I'll, I'll save the, the, the starter zone a wee little bit. Um, we're going to take a look at what this map looks like, because it's, I think it's good. I mean, disabling the waves is weird. I, I think I played another tricky map where it happened, and I think I know what I'm expecting to see. 
So it's a very cool effect, very unique, and I'm a, I'm a big fan. I am a big fan. There we go. Got all of that. Let's just see if we can take some of this back. You know, again, it's it's power. It's good. It's not too bad. Uh, well, see, we, we're, we're going to lose this area, I'm sure. But, you know, anything we can get back. And the longer we can hold it, the more power we eat. So let's take a look at what we see on the map now. And look at this. How cool is that? It's just, it's like time is slowed. You know, this is just a monstrous thing. And it's just pouring out. These corners are spiked up. You get the swirl effect of the uh, the creep flows meshing and stuff like that. It is incredible. Um, so yeah, we have... So what do we have? We have Mega Big Area. That's the 20. We knew that. Uh, this is, I guess, filled. So that's good. Uh, this is varied levels of strength, which is good. Uh, this is definitely our next target. Smallest. I think we're... Okay, so I think we're going to do this area, this area... And I'd love to come here, but that's like AC absorption, so I'm I'm kind of worried about the corners, where I think it might be better to come over here. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to do this area, we're going to do this area, then we're probably going to do this area. It looks like we have an easy way to get here, and then we'll debate between these two. As you can see, this is a monstrous amount of creep, but it's flowing so slowly. This area is not being taken, which is great. So let's, uh, you know, let's get our butt down here now. Let's, let's change our perspective a little bit. And, uh, yeah, we'll just start moving along a new pathway. Sounds pretty good to me. Uh, thankfully, we don't really have to worry about saving the land behind us. Again, with them being always on, it's a, it's a good amount of protection. With the with the flow rate being so low, I mean, it says it's not making waves, but this is just a very, very thin flow rate, which is very nice, if you ask me. Uh, we're just going to hug the walls, right? Always hug your walls. Your walls are your friends. They are very good times. So move along this wall. Try and grab this breeder zone. And we'll move along the other wall and try and grab the other breeder zone. And you can see, like, it allows us to really cut through without it, like, completely uh, overwhelming us behind. Like, a lot of times, especially if there's a lot of creep, once you sort of take something, uh, the creep sort of flows in behind you really fast. If it's high, it it's just not. It's just not, which is pretty, pretty cool to me. It's, it's just a nice little puzzle. You know, we have to solve, like, not necessarily, you don't have to solve it. It's just that I'm sure there's a very optimal way to go through. I'm sure there's uh, other ways that are fine, but they just take longer and things like that. But as you can see, we're going into, just, let's just take a little look-see. Okay. Our cursor, nope, near as big as this. But we're able to push through because the flow is so minimal that this is staying essentially at creeper cap while uh, it's not flowing. So that's kind of how we're able to move in this world. So even though our cursor isn't as strong, uh, we have that capability. So the real key here is in just the initial, or the final fight, I guess, for the, the spot itself. Once we get the spot, of course, it's not going to be too bad. It's just that fight for the spot. Uh, as you can see, we, we took the spot, and now that's breeding for us. So if we actually take another look-see. Uh, Bazinga. Ooh, look at that. F9 finally hitting it. And now that that is another breeding spot for us. So that's glorious. Huzzah, huzzah, huzzah. Um, and yeah, we can take this last little spot here. Sounds pretty good to me. Now, when we cross to the next zone through an absorber terrain, which kind of sucks, but you know, we gotta do what we gotta do. It is absorbing the creep, which is why it's also nice because it's creating an easier point of entry, I suppose. Uh, we have a lot of places that we can go, right? We can go up, down, or to the center. We have three ways. I am going to choose down because, A, it's a wall. I like my walls. Uh, B, it leads to a corner. I like my corners. And C, it, the corner that's sort of attached to it. Actually, let's take a look at the center. Ah, the center got taken over. Boo. We want to take the center back a little bit, get a little bit more power. A little bit more power might be good for this. Uh, how is this open? This is... If we can just get a hold over here, I think we'll be fine. So let's try and get the hold. Let's let's ignore the, the start. Uh, let's just see. Can we get a foothold? Oh, yeah, we got it. We got a tiny foothold. Not much. Not much, mind you. But we don't need much. We just need enough to be able to start moving. So the reason I'm choosing the bottom... Uh, explain this as well is if we go up to the top we can take this corner just like this corner and then we go for this corner most likely right the center one i think is going to be the last point but if we take this it's up next against the breeder or the absorber terrain 
So I think I'd rather take the one that's just by itself, right? So we take this, then we take this, then we probably take this, and then we take that last. Or, I mean, yeah, I think that's probably about right. Um, so something along those lines, because then we are able to uh, just, I don't want to say maximize our effectiveness of it. It's just we're not wasting AC going into Breeder today right away, right? Uh, I think that's my logic and reasoning. I don't know if that's 100% best, but that's that's what I'm going with right now. And you can see, there's so much more creep here than AC, but we're able to keep progressing. And that's the key. I am going to go all the way to the corner instead of just go straight for the uh, the point. And that should be the corner, essentially. Right there. Because again, hug your corner, hug your walls. It will make it easier to sort of get us around over here. And get, yeah, just start turning. Just start turning. That's all we need. Because once it gets started, a little bit breeds for us. Then a little bit more breeds for us. And then buzzing, yeah, gets turned. And that should be all we really need. It's going to be... That's going to give us a nice point to hold from. Again, go along the edge. We should be getting stronger. In theory. Although I guess by losing the front area, home base, we are getting weaker. So we do have a little bit against us as well. It's a bit of wet column A, a bit of column B. Uh, but as you can see, that is able to hold the corner just fine. I love that. Uh, hold that corner, baby. That's what we need, so keep it going. And if we take this next corner, then we can sort of take the side. From the side, we can move our way up. Much easier, in theory. Uh, big theory there, but, you know, I'll take it, I'll take it. Uh, little by little, we shall overcome. Again, I do want to take the corner, uh, but we are already working on the point, so I'm going to try and take the corner and the point at the same time. And it's turning. There we go. We have now taken another corner. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. So now, now we can push with the corner itself. Again, I'm going to move up the wall. I do think I'm going to take this corner at the top that we ignored earlier. Uh, we do have to go past some breeder terrain, but we're not going to the one with breeder terrain. Uh, and then, honestly, I think once we have all four of these, the center should... I'm not going to say just fall easily, but, I mean... We should have enough pressure from all directions that I think it will be fine. Hope, fingers crossed. I don't know. Uh, just, just try and just try and what makes sense to me. Let's just try. So you know, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. You just gotta go with what you gut sometimes. Uh, but I do think it is a little bit easier to move along here now. A with some of the creep uh, vanishing. B with our cursor getting a little bit stronger now that we've sort of lost our initial zone but now we're starting to gain some more area uh, so it's sort of a win-win-win situation and here is our third corner again you can see the bottom is actually winning stronger now because uh, the bottom left corner sort of was getting some creep pushed into it a little bit but look at that we took that and that is now just pushing out on its own in essence on the bottom right of my cursor so yeah, it looks like the taking the corners is definitely a nice winning scenario for us. More uh, for that. Uh, and then yeah, we can just hopefully just make a beeline for the center. I don't know how hard that the center is going to be to take, but I think it will. You know, it will have the extra pressure from the corners to help, right? Uh, so we'll go from one of the corners, probably go from the bottom right one because we got that one first. It's probably the most secure at this point, uh, comparatively. Uh, let's grab this point and go on over. So, Bazinga, grab the point. That'll be secure. Now, let's just see. Can we just sort of march our way up, or is this going to be too strong? Oh, see, like, just us doing this, we are pushing so much of that creep out. Ah, oh, it's beautiful, beautiful stuff. Every corner is being freed. Oh, it's nice, it's nice. Uh, and, yeah, I wonder, <laughs> are we going to be able to get out? How is our cursor to... Yes, our cursor is so baby compared to this. Look at how big this is comparatively. Oh, let's see, let's see how these are. Oh, yes, it has got much deeper, this whole area. With the flow being very good, you know. Um, this is sort of equilibrium. At an equilibrium. This is... I mean, the flow is monstrous, but... It, this is kind of whole. Right? We're going to keep an eye on this, so if this starts to fall, I will want to defend that. But I think getting rid of... Or letting that go was okay. Um, probably could have saved that for a bit longer, which would have given us some more power, you know, some more juice. But, you know, I'm okay with what we got. Uh, the real key is, do we have the capability to really push it against this? And it looks like we're making progress. It is slow. Uh, 
So fingers crossed. All we need is one like that right there. We just got that teeny tiny bit. Let's let's really zoom in. See, all we need is one little nubbin of AC to sort of win out on the uh, breeding terrain. And it looks like we're kind of getting. Uh, we are starting to take around it. Yeah, it looks it looks like it's like ready to pop. Um, Come on. We'll clean up the creep a little bit around it so we can sort of get more pressure on all sides. And just something like this. So it will blow a certain way. Oh, oh, it's breaking. And it's broken. There we go. Okay, so we don't even need to be here anymore. Because now, that's going to breed for us. Huzzah! Okay, that's still holding on pretty strong. Now we have two options. Uh, we can come along this way, or we can come through here. Uh, coming through here seems like a better path. I mean, I don't have to fight through all this. We're basically here already, and that's right there. So I'm going to go for this one. I think that's where we're going. Let's see, can we actually break through? Uh... Yeah, yes, we can. All right, we're on the move in a new zone. Oh, baby. Again, we're just going to hug the wall first. You know, we're, we're, we're weak right now. We are not very strong. We don't have any checkpoints. You know, basically, each of these is essentially a checkpoint when you think about it. That would be kind of neat, too. Uh, so, it's like you got to get to one. Once you get it, you're sort of able to hold. And once we get this checkpoint, the, the back area should just start filling in naturally with AC. That's actually very good for business, right? Very, very good for business. Um, when, when business is good, it is wonderful. Uh, so, yeah, we're just... I love seeing the like, flow lines of the creek move so slowly. And it's just like, yeah, that's, that's what we're doing. Uh, so now we just need to get it up here. Just that tiny bit more. Yeah, I'm out. Yeah, I'm out, AC. You know it. Oh, it's so close. It wants to go. I know it. I believe it. I... Hmm. Let's take a look at what we're seeing. Oh, <laughs> our little babby. So, we just need to get that little bit. This is completely taken, which is great. Again, we're sort of fighting pretty okay over here. We just need this uh, spot. We get the spot. Like, we just get one little nubbin to turn. And it, we are surrounding this one little nubbin of yellow. Uh, and it looks like it's about to go. Oh, we got it! So now we got that one little nubbin, and it might not seem like much, but that is humongous. Right? Because that one little bit now is producing AC for us, which means that's going to make it easier to turn the others. And once we get this other one, now the whole thing should sort of devolve and fall apart. You can even see the AC is winning out behind us now. And there we go. We just got it. There's the point. That is A, a checkpoint, and B, I mean, look at this. This this whole area is now just going to fall, right? I mean, it's going to be able to hold itself. It's wonderful. It's wonderful, wonderful stuff. So the question now is, where do we go, right? Uh, I'm just taken to the corner, or the wall, because I like my walls. And, I, you know, now this is just going to die off, which is great. This is easy to push, because now we have, now we have that. That's bigger than our person, you know? <laughs> That's on our side. So the question is, do we go for this or this? And I think both of them are viable. This is more along the wall. This one, it's it's high ground, so it's not as high as you expect. Like going to here, very very. Low. That's that's at level one. That's at level seven. Yep, yeah, that's that's a pretty big difference. Um, but that's also it. That's level eight, so that's actually probably pretty easier. So yeah, let's let's do some wall action and get to this next one, right? So we're, we're gonna do some wall work. Uh, again, walls are your friends, so we'll take this. Hopefully, hopefully this will spread out quite a wee little bit, and that will allow us to uh, 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 that will allow us to just escape, right? I mean, maybe we take the big one, maybe we go for that one. Yeah, I think we're gonna go keep hugging the wall, right? We're gonna take this one. We'll hug to the corner, get the corner, get that big one, uh, and just keep our momentum, right? We want to get to these checkpoints. That's the key. Because uh, if we don't get a checkpoint, well, I'm kind of sorry. sorry. Uh, but every checkpoint we get, it just helps us hold what we've taken. Uh, even though we're not losing what's behind us, 
with enough time, I think we would eventually, because the creep is higher. You know, it just it has more creep production than we do. And it will flow in eventually. Uh, but we can just grab this spot, uh, which should be easier than the previous one. I'm thinking, yeah, there we go. Come on. Turn, 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 turn. Yes, there we go. Okay, beautiful. Beautiful stuff. Now we have another checkpoint. And as you can see, this is actually flowing in. But we can we can take it back. So again, I'm gonna keep hugging our walls. We're gonna just go straight to this corner at this point. We're just on the move. We are we're, we're moving pretty good. Uh, we're, 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 we'll do a little turn. Much so again, they are, you know, the creep is pushing in, but with that second checkpoint, I feel much more confident. Um, and if we can get the big one here, I think that's going to take this corner very, very easily. And that's essentially half of the creep generation in this area. So I think this whole area will start to just naturally fall to creep production, as well as our cursor helping out. It's, it's one of those situations where both are now helping. So it's actually cool. It's nice. Yes, yes, yes. Um, and yeah, uh, just like, take the corner, hug the wall, keep it moving up. Uh, could have be lined straight for it. Might have been a better opportunity. I mean, I guess with the flow not being that, without with being, I don't want to say non-existent, being as small as it is, I probably could just be lined for it. But I do, I do like taking the wall. It's, it's, it's my rule, so I'm going to abide by my rule. Plus, this gives us a nice little safety net behind us when we go for the assault. Oh, wow, this is being taken way easier than I was expecting. Uh, so yeah, that's this is just gonna fall super easy at this point, point. Uh, and this should push out everything that we just took, which is great. Uh, buzzinga, buzzanga, we uh, yeah, that's that's safety right. A nice big area, and I'm actually gonna swap. I'm gonna come over here. I think I think this is pushed out very very far just from our initial uh, get. So let's just go for it. No more walls. No more playing around. We've taken some of the biggest ones, like the we took the largest one. And I believe the first one we took was actually one of the stronger of the uh, emission points. So that's actually a pretty big news as well. Uh, so yeah, we have good news. Uh, and again, our cursor has just gotten stronger. And I am not keeping tabs on... Okay, good. That point is still holding quite nice. I'm going to go help it out a little bit. And we'll just come over here. Like, hey, don't take my friend over here. You... Just, you just stay back there. Goodbye. And now we'll we'll just sort of save. Uh, and now that we've sort of taken that, I'm going to let that just work on creep. I don't really care about pushing from it because we're just going to push it to this one and then use these to take out the center. Right? I mean, that's the one on the left, the one that we're going towards right now. These two should take out everything in between and the corners, of course, assuming we can take this one. But it looks like we are making that. We are making that. Super. Yeah, but just, just flip. Just flip, baby. You can do it. Oh, yeah. There we go. Nice, 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 nice. Got a good flip. Very, very nice. Uh, I'm just going to let this do its work. I'm not even going to worry about taking out the creep from the other areas. Because uh, we're just going to come up to the north, take this one, and that's all their creep production. And, again, we have all of the production. Right? So it's turned to us. So it shouldn't be too bad. shouldn't be too bad. The next zone I'm a little worried about, but it's going to be a bit more of the whole get to a corner, get to an area, and just expand from there. That's what we're going to do. We're going to expand the land up from a certain area, make sure we keep the pressure up, keep everything going. Uh, and yeah, it should be fine. There we go. Now with this taken, I'm, I, I don't really care about the rest. The rest should die off. I don't think there's any way possible for them to have enough power to fight against that. So we're just, we're just moving on. We're just coming in here, and we are going to get to a corner. Now, there are nice little breeder zones basically everywhere. Now, I don't know if these are strong enough in their lonesome to sort of hold. That's the thing that I'm a little worried about, right? Like, as you can see, the creep is flowing in. So I don't necessarily want to worry about saving every single one, but I kind of don't mind, like, just expanding. Uh, like, the entirety of our edge. Because every time we take a, a little bit, we just get stronger, and then we get hold our edge a little bit better, and then we get stronger. Uh, the real key is I do want to get to this corner, because again, corners are your friend. Uh, so I want to really hold the corner, 
and just uh, expand from there. So that's that's my definite goal. It's this coin. And you can see, well, it is actually pushing back. Um, and it's because there's so much just breeder everywhere. Right? It's breeder breeder everywhere. And there's just nothing we can do about it. But by taking this corner, we now have like a home base of sorts. And we can just sort of start pressing. Wanna wanna take a nice wall as well. Um, leave that be and then just start to expand it. We want, I, I guess I just want to take like a large chunk from the wall. Uh, because the more angle angular it is, uh, the more area that's gonna be fighting and stuff, and I, I want my cursor to be as impactful as possible. Um, so if we take, like, this wall all the way up, we'll have a nice straight edge. Uh, and then we can just, again, just keep pushing, keep pushing, and you move, and that feels pretty good. This, this is feeling pretty great. Take to the wall, that'll be nice. Just take, just take those, like, three, three little nubbins, that'll take the wall. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. This wall, not as impactful, I will admit. Uh, let's just take a couple of these, because they're there. Keep pushing these. Again, I just want this straight line. This is, this might be foolish error, but I do like it. It is, it's easy to do. Uh, and uh, I like it. Uh, and I, I, again, I really like the whole puzzle aspect. I think that's a nice big yellow spot, so I do want that for sure. I guess we should take So This is sort of a main jolt to this corner. So if we take these, that's going to be a big game right there. These are pretty big games as well. Uh, so just take the rest. Take this wall. Take this corner. Yeah, no. We're almost there. We have a nice line. As you can see, we have, we have expanded our land pretty, pretty well. And now that we've taken all of this, it's just a matter of sort of pushing in when we can get some uh, breeder zones. Uh, and then letting the rest sort of, you know, level out. So, like, that's a good breeder zone. There's a couple of nice dips and dots over here. Uh, and hopefully they can hold. And again, they're not being surrounded. It's not a night. It's it's not too bad. But every time we can take a little bit more, a little bit more. Uh, I kind of want to get to that spot. I think that's a pretty big spot. I'm not going to lie. So that's kind of in my wheelhouse, so I'm going to push for it. I'm going to push for that spot, because there's so much more breeder terrain here than other places. Uh, that seems pretty good. That seems pretty good. Right there. That's the spot. Right there. That's what we want. And again, we want to... Now we want to hold what we take. Right? If we take something, our goal is now to hold it. Uh, we don't want to take it and just let it go back. Um, so I'm trying to push out. Uh, we are indeed surrounding quite nicely. We did get that nice big breeder zone. And now there's a big dead zone on the top, right? That's a, that's a, it's a bit of a nothing zone. So I'm going to go back towards the bottom, try and take some more. Uh, and we're, we're basically where we need it. We're basically where we need it. I am trying to surround the creep at this point because I think between all the spots that we have, as you can see, the, the creep on the right is actually shrinking. So we're winning the battle when we do a surround. Before, when we did a surround, the creep would be taking more land, but we are now actually winning. So I don't even think we need to mess with this area. I am going to take these two spots because they're just right there. Uh, but the rest, I think, will die out, even though they have breeder zones. So I am a okay. I think the right here at this point, we're pretty much even with bottom and top breeder zones. So I'm, I'm going to take the bottom uh, just because it's. Here, that's where, my, that's where my cursor was really. So we'll take it to the corner, take it up, and yeah, everything is just coming up. Uh, so we should be done with this little piece of the puzzle very, very soon, I think. Take the corner. This is actually a really nice corner. I wish that top right corner was this nice. Because um, it has a good amount of Very nice. Uh, now we can work on a surround, right? Now we can be the one just to surround them. Who really cares at this point? cutting through them and stuff. Oh, you know, if we're able, if with the power that we've gained, we're actually able to make some pretty good progress, too. Uh, how's that looking? That has not been taken. Very, very nice. I was a little paranoid for a second. That's okay. That one's holding, it's holding, it's holding strong. It's doing it's a little, a little breeder zone that could. Um, unfortunately, it does seem like they are stronger than I was hoping for. So let's just, let's just stop that. Uh, oh, 
shape, not making any particular shape. Um, and if I was, I'm a very bad artist, so, you know, just that. Uh, uh, there. Well, nice, that corner should take itself. Let's just keep it going. Keep it. Cut it let's cut it in half at this point. Let's, let's stop whatever it was trying to do. Not that it was trying to do that. You beautiful stuff. Okay. Why are you still here? Get it. I'm done with you. I'm done with you. There we go. I'm done with up here. Beauty. So let's let's take a look at what we got map-wise. What do we got? So this is still holding. This is I mean this is great. This is great. This is great. This is now gonna be great. Uh, as you can see, way more easy than anything else. We can push in here. Uh, I don't think we're going to fight back. I think we're going to take these little side paths and go for, like, these two. I think we're going for these two next. Um, I kind of also want to take out this one as well. Um, so let's take this, if we can, and then come this way. That way, this is just pooping out AC, uh, if we can take it. And just weakening this, which would be kind of nice. And if we can't take it... Oh, no. I think that easy. You... Oh, gosh, that was super easy. Uh, we probably could take over this entire thing. Um, but let's let's go this way. Let's go this way. Let's see. Can we take this one? Is it hard? Is it easy? I don't know. Uh, it's easy. There we go. Let's try and get any zones that we can get. That seems pretty nice, if you ask me. So now we've taken uh, one zone from from the, each of our next like competitors, right? Our, this is obviously a giant one. But at the same time. Uh, you know, might be doable. Might be doable. I uh, definitely want to get both breeding zones just to sort of help out. But of course, that's very important to, uh, to get whatever breeding zones you can. Uh, but you can see the creep is pushing into this. You know that it that uh, creep only breeding zone is definitely the strongest spot on the map. So do we do that last? Uh, do we do it now? Once we get both of our breeding zones, is that good? I don't know what's most optimal. I mean, realistically, I think at this point we can do anything. It's just what order is best. Now, for sure, I am going to be taking the other breeding zone across across the pond, as it were. Now let's just free some of that up. Let's take this breeding zone like we did the other side. And I think I think we're going to stick here. I think we're going to stick here and then come back. Right, because you can see that corner up there is now doing good. Uh, and if we just hug the wall, take all the corners, take the center, hopefully. Uh, again, this is a lot of land, so this is a lot of power. A lot of power to help against the big boy. Uh, so we're, we're, we're mixing it up, we're changing our plan, but yeah, you can see we're, we're really able to push against this. No problem at this point. Um, I'm actually surprised. I figured these corners would be harder. Uh, let's see. How big is our how big is our cursor? Oh, wow. Our cursor is actually way big. We could probably take this out with our cursor being that big. Holy moly. Uh, but again, I, I think taking this area will just make it that much easier to take the big one. So I'm not super worried about that. Not super worried about that. Um, but yeah, our cursor is way powerful at this point. I am not worried in the slight east. Nay, nay, nay. That's another corner. Go for another corner. What's also nice is as we take these corners, like, you can see the, the AC is just holding. It's not being, like, we've taken the whole top. We're not just taking it and then losing it. So that's actually a pretty big win for us as well. And, yeah, this is just a lot of land that we're now getting. We'll grab this last corner, take out the center, and essentially this whole area should rumble very quickly i would imagine because these are pretty these are pretty good uh, breeding zones right so just taking them is nice what's also really nice is the breeding zone that we had in the previous one the two in the bottom left of bottom or the bottom left of the screen now uh those are just holding you know might not seem like much but them holding is pretty good and let's just go straight for that gold go for that center spot uh because this should break this section um by break, I just mean completely make sure we... This is, this is big victory points right here. Uh, yeah, man. Do need We do need some help with them. We do need some help. Alright, come on. You can do it, you can do it buddy. 
I believe in you. I think we're taking a little bit of it. Let's zoom in some plaza, because I do want to see. I do want to see. I think we're taking some. Realistically, once you take a little bit, it should really start to fall. Like we've taken we've taken a couple pieces. Push it in. Yes. Oh, there we go. It's crumbling. We got a couple more, which is going to lead to a couple more. And there's the break. We got over halfway, which means it's all breaking. It is gone. We have done it. We don't need to be here, because look at what we got. I don't know if that's our cursor, but look at what is now being decimated. All of that. All of that is being decimated. So we can watch that while we go towards the big, big, big boy. Um, look at that. That creep, it's got nothing anymore. Now let's just connect these up just so their their powers can combine, so to speak. Now, so we're not being assaulted from all sides and that whole thing. And let's just go for gold at this point. Uh, whoop, whoop. Zoom on in. And as you can see, yeah, that is pushing all three. So all we need, once we take this spot, I think that is... The, again, this is the hardest spot. The initial spot is a very weak one, so realistically, once we take this, it is all over. Uh, the creep is slowly diminishing from the center. Maybe taking a little bit of time to gain a little bit more power by going there would have been better. Uh, but I don't know. Great. Um, all we need, oh, it's breaking. Oh my gosh, it's breaking already. Look at that. Once again, once this breaks, it is over, over, and we've, we've broken most of it already. That is it. No more creep will realistically be generated unless we let that expand to land it back, which I am going to do because the flow shouldn't be strong enough. I think we are good. Uh, I do want to take my home base back. And we just got to clean up. We're just in clean up duty at this point, right? Uh, we'll do a little bit over there. We'll do a little bit over there, and we will move our butt. So... Never lost that one. Never lost the that little bridge holder, which is great. I was expecting to lose that, but very, very cool. Or not expecting to lose it, but I mean, I checked it on it a couple of times. Uh, but yeah, we now have, we have the creep. We have the flow. Oh, yes. Go, go, go. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. I'm glad we did leave that prior area as well, uh, because it, as you can see, it is taking itself, and we could have taken it, but at the same time, that's just time. That's just time that we didn't need to use, right? So, just a little bit, just a, just a nice little time save, so to speak, by leaving it. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know. I feel, I feel like this was a good choice. I feel like we made some good choices. There's probably a faster way. I don't know, but I feel, I feel pretty good. Um, I am a little worried that this is not like there's a lot of creep here, and the problem is our first uh, our first breeder is not a strong one, so we actually have to sort of clear this up. This is our mess to clean up uh, as a, a strong, independent cursor, uh, but that's okay because we'll get there. we'll get there very very soon. And I'm doing the outside little lap. I'll just cut this in half. Cut it in. Get out of here, get out of here. Whee! Not too shabby. We are like supremely strong. And that is everything. We have done it. So we have taken Cursor 4, another test, out for a spin. I really I do really like the puzzle maps. Uh where you know, maybe there's a way that you can immediately come down here and shut this off. I highly doubt that. But, you know, maybe you take this left side instead of the right side. Maybe you go over here via this path before you do this, or you do this and then you come over here. You know, there, there's a lot of ways that you can do a lot of things. Um, I don't know if they're possible. This seemed to work for me, so I'm pretty happy with that. Let's see how we did. Uh, what was it? 31 Forte. Uh, not too bad, not too bad. Uh, saw a 31, 50 there. It's got to be somewhere in the 20s. Okay. It's got 26, look at that, fastest one. There you go, fastest one was indeed the fastest one. So, there are faster ways to do it. 
Um, but you know what? I think that was like third or fourth. I'll take it. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, yeah, there we go. Again, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you next time. Take care.